hey guys welcome back to our channel i'm Tahir. i'm nadine so for today's video you guys have sent in your like questions situations and we're gonna try and answer them to the best of our ability and get ready at the same time so if you want to know what we used and products ask us in the comments below we also wanted to say guys thank you so much for the love on our recent video <laughs> It was it's like 1.8k right now and we've only been on YouTube for such a little time. 113 subscribers, which is little but it's a lot for us. Yeah, so, so make sure you support us. If you love our content, please subscribe. You can always share our videos, we don't mind. And leave us comments and suggestions of what you actually want to see. Don't forget to like the video and leave us a comment below if you also want advice yourself on your relationship. I think it's always nice to get a, an outsider perspective into mm. any situation you're in, whether it's a relationship or anything. But we do have an email down below in the description which you can send questions to it'll be completely anonymous so we can keep your privacy um and yeah keep on watching the first question is if you like a guy do you think you should shoot your shot absolutely not <laughs> i am a very old-fashioned person i don't think you should ever approach a guy how do you make them notice you though move on if he doesn't notice you what you're gonna do what you can do because i did this and it worked what i did are you like a couple of his pictures on Instagram or maybe like one? Oh, that picture. is the maximum you do for yeah. a woman. That's you going, whoa, you know, that's too much. That is the statement. That is that like, bam. Yeah, and if he... I want you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had to shoot my shot. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, for some people it's easy. She can't relate. Not like that. Honestly say, the best thing to do is maybe like one of his Instagram pictures if you've got his Instagram. Don't follow him. Don't DM him. I would never do that and I would never recommend to do that. I'm just an old-fashioned person. I think a guy should always be making his own, sh shooting his own shots. Not. I'm gonna be real. If you like a guy, he's not like showing you any interest. Yeah. Already, it's like a no-no. Get yourself out of this. Like a guy should always move first. Nowadays, we're in 2021. Women are proposing to men, which I absolutely, I absolutely <laughs> would never do. Even if I was single for the rest of my life. This is just our opinion. So obviously, if you have a different view, then that is you, uh. boo. But this is not us. <laughs> <laughs> Next question what to do if your guy friend is showing signs of liking you oh but this is why you're not friends with guys no i have a lot of guy friends i have no guy friends no guy has ever tried to just be my friend they've always had like another motive maybe no. i'm too ugly that he don't move to me <laughs> I did have some of my guy friends show signs that they are interested and I just pretend like I really am dumb. I really pretend <laughs> like I'm dumb. If you have a guy friend and you talk to them every single day, you want to be an attachment of some sort because you become some sort of like their daily routine. But the thing is, as soon as I feel like there's flirting, I distance myself and mm. I stop talking to them for a while. And then, so that then I ask about them again. Because it happened to me on multiple occasions where I felt like someone was starting to catch feelings. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. No, because it's just no. And I feel like it's not even maybe because of my personality. Like, I'm not Miss Charming out here. I think it's just the fact that you become used to talking to somebody. If he's showing signs of liking you, I would say distance yourself for a while so that this person could stop getting addicted to talking to you, if that makes sense. If you just ignore the signs, then you're actually being evil because you are still participating in you making this person fall for you. Whereas if you distance yourself, you're taking away some of the attachment that has been built between you guys. But I feel like because men and women aren't used to be like friends it becomes it, a relationship i think a lot of guys get confused for women's kindness and vice versa some women get confused by a man's kindness yeah. like, more time is a man it's a man <laughs> that gets confused and kind of always ruins it mm. when you're gone that person then realizes oh it was just like a thing just getting attached to them and i thought i liked them but it's really not but yeah that's a really good question thanks for asking that the next question long distance relationship i don't know i think it can work it depends how long the distance is why there is a distance do you know what maybe I mean? they met online Ugh, i just don't advise it i just don't it's too much effort i mean why don't you just find someone near you but then the thing is though a long distance relationship will always require compromise at the beginning yes it can be long distance but eventually you're gonna have to come in the middle and meet i feel like it's such a risk to take because for example if you're a guy like the whole like faithfulness like someone being faithful the thing is it will only work in a mature relationship when you truly truly like someone and they're far away you, you do so much to talk to them because you know you can't have them in that moment do you not think it's gonna become boring no. because you're what you're talking about every day that's um i think as long as you guys can make it work go for it but just bear in mind that person won't be there to all the time because you know what you're getting yourself into don't like go in there like a blinded and like a fairy tale 
just understand like someone's gonna have to come in the middle someone's gonna have to go either to a or b you both are gonna have to compromise so much and i feel like it will require a lot more effort because you are far away from each other and you can't physically meet with the person but i think that will also be nice because you'll actually be able to have true Bond. feelings yeah. for that person they're purely personality based yeah like, i understand but sometimes it's like the physical presence of somebody is very important when you want you want to do stuff together like you want to go take a walk you obviously can't do that you want to go shopping together you can't do that as frequently oh, I kind of agree with you because in this day of age we're like in 2021 like you know everything is accessible like it's a lot easier to be in a long distance relationship thank god because obviously of like you know facetime yeah. it's almost like you would feel like you're with them but no you know what i actually don't agree with long distance relationship because there's an arabic saying of you don't know somebody unless you live with them it becomes a little bit draining to continue talking to somebody i don't think, I think so maybe i'm over complicating it you know yeah i think you are because i think talking to someone every day on the phone and seeing them every day it can both be draining it just depends on what you're what you're talking about uh why do men cheat <laughs> girl <laughs> we don't know i don't think it's just men okay let's just put it out there women have naturally most not all have a commitment to one person they can actually commit mm. to one person whereas men i don't think they have that commitment to one person I, a guy's eye is always moving about like because guys get bored when a guy starts getting bored with the woman that he's with men are actual children yeah they're children and they play with the toy once the toy is done they chuck it out and we need a new toy but once the toy starts looking brand new again that's when they want it back yes that's why you have to always keep them on their toes you always have to look after yourself you always have to look good that's no, not just I'm not for men about, i'm not talking about looks i'm talking about just in general oh but guys also are attracted to girls not just because of, this is be realistic i feel like with yourself as well you have to maintain yourself and not just for him just for your even self like do you know what i mean worry about yourself either this person was not fully invested in the relationship usually men don't cheat because they're looking for something else it's literally because they're bored in that split second they want something for two seconds but it's they don't they don't ever want that thing Forever, good. Yeah. I always said one thing. If you feel like you're not happy with someone, why would you continue a relationship with them? Just leave. Pack and leave. Why would you waste your time in commitment and at the end of the day you don't want to be with them or you're just gonna cheat on them? Why would you do that to yourself? I think cheating is one of the most selfish things you can do. Because you're literally cheating for your own pleasure. And what do you consider cheating though? I think there's different stages. That's a really good point what you made. Obviously nowadays, because we're in this like social media day it's like liking a girl's picture i don't see that. that as cheating once you start speaking to somebody else i think that's cheating i think when women cheat is because most of the times obviously some women are evil like men are like dogs but usually when a woman cheats it's because the person that they're with or the person that they want um is not giving them what they need emotionally mm. so then they go to somebody else because they think that they can get that from someone else as well it's just like a complete cycle like it's one of those ones yeah i think when a man cheats i feel like it's more of physical whereas when a woman cheats it's more of the lack of the emotional yeah. care yeah. from their partner what do you think about marrying multiple wives would you be co-wife of your best friend first of all ill absolutely not Obviously in Islam, you're allowed to marry for wives, but nowadays men use it and abuse it. Try to take advantage out of that fact. This is when I would think you should get married, okay? I'm not no scholar, I'm just saying my opinion. For example, there's war and you have a wife. Then this woman's husband died in war and you can provide and she has children. You can provide for more than one family. Why not marry this person and provide for them? Don't just do it for the sake of pleasure or you want yeah. to expand your women in the house. What are you doing? the whole multiple wives is to be able to provide for each of them have their own houses or yeah you you have to be yeah. able to actually afford a good life for every single person mm. you can't just marry them and think oh i'm just you know do your thing it's not so you can have like relations with all of them just mm. to, for fun it's, like the reason why it's there in islam is never to do it there's like a pure reason for it however you don't have to do it it's not like a must so if you're married to a man and he comes to you and he says this woman that i want to marry blah 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 you don't feel comfortable better let him know you don't want that to happen don't, you're not allowed to say make him not do it by the way but but you need to tell your you're opinion. allowed to refuse how would you feel if a man came to you your husband and said i want to get married to someone else oh hell no i will chop his finger I'll be like, why am i missing something well, well you want me to do something different for me no but actually physically there's some women him. out there oh, though, but i don't want to offend anyone because there's some women out there that are in these situations if, if a man if i'm married and my man comes to me and tells me i want to marry someone else i will chop your finger off. i am not joking i am serious i will cause you physical harm 
mom but then you can go get married then i dare you oh my god are you crazy i will ask for divorce oh yeah sure yeah for you to want to marry someone else that means something is lacking then would you be a co-wife of your best friend if that's the situation you're in right now i friend. don't know what happened sorry this is not a field trip <laughs> imagine me and you I wouldn't even rather die. I would rather have an elephant standing on my stomach whilst being alive and watching the whole thing happen. <laughs> Why an elephant? I'd rather go through pain and suffering. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. This is not a partnership. This is not sharing is caring. Yeah. <laughs> like, why are you and your best friend liking the same guy? I think that's really weird Out as well. of all the men in the world. Whoever it is that was with the man first, you should question the person that is deciding to move to your man and trying to be his wife. Or you should actually question your man. Why are you looking at my best friend? I thought. What if you're in a relationship, you know you both love each other, but after every argument, you are always the one in the wrong. Always the one getting blamed, not allowed to cry. He's a narcissist. He's got manipulation serious 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 mental issues he's emotionally unstable gaslight G gaslight but not allowed to cry no that's just weird man not allowed he's to cry what are you a little girl he's controlling he's controlling you it's time for you to Sis, you need to go out it, there's no love in this no man that loves you would do this to you just he loves himself he, he loves feeling like a man there's a difference between uh someone being dominant oh, I want alpha my man male. to be the alpha male. I ain't, I don't want to sit back and just, you do deal with everyone. Someone likes to fight though. So. Really, we love it. Fight, you know, <laughs> get him annoyed. No. Love pissing off partner. You know, that's quite nice. I love, <laughs> I love to get a reaction, and then when they start shouting, I'm like, I love it. Yay! The difference between having like an alpha male and controlling. That that man is controlling because he's extremely, extremely insecure. Insecure. And he's only because he has you, and he knows that you're not gonna leave. Unfortunately, like one second. My mom's in day. I'm so sorry, you're closest. I can hear Nadine. I'll be the shaitan regime. The devil is calling me. I'll be the shaitan regime. You know you both love each other. Okay. Each other, no. He wants to take out his emotional distress on you and his emotional insecurities. Okay, next point. Argument is normal. Let's just get that out there. Mm, but right. you could argue over the dumbest things, like, and then it could be turned into something big just because you're with them 24 7. In of every relationship, if you live with each other, it's 100% bound to happen that you're going to argue with each other because you're both are adjusting to each other's um, ways of living and rules that you've made to yourself. You're never going to stop arguing with your man. You're just going to learn how to resolve it easier each time. You know, like, when you're in a relationship like this, he probably knows so well how to convince her to believe in that mm. she's in the wrong. Don't ever fall for it and don't ever think, hold your ground and make sure that you know when you're in the wrong and you know when you're not in the wrong. Don't make him manipulate you into thinking that you're in the wrong. I'm pissed off now. <laughs> They're not being able to cry. I feel like women bear their feelings on their sleep. What the hell? The fact that you even wrote that, that should have been enough for you because he knows that it's going to work every time. And he, he knows, knows you don't have a strong enough character. You have more of like a back backbone. By the way, once you start standing your ground, he's not going to have it. You're then going to realise that you actually he doesn't love you and you're the only one that's invested in this relationship. Mm. Next question. This question has two parts, so I'll say the first part first. How to love somebody. I don't believe in love, so this can help you. <laughs> what is love, though? What is love if you're not here with me? Me starting to get really uncomfortable now <laughs> what is love you know what what's love to you everyone has different love languages right so that means everyone's love is different love to me could be someone knowing my favorite food and getting me that every day <laughs> some fat cow do you know so what I mean? it's them thinking about you so i think it's little things and efforts and understanding i think it's the other person knowing literally everything about you and note taking and you do things to make each other happier mm. but at the same time don't rely your happiness on each other because no one can give you full happiness our culture and beliefs are obviously is our basis of our answers so that's why i say you never get like when I talk about the happiness, you can't get a full amount of happiness anything here anyways. Like, nothing will give you full. As we believe the world is temporary, obviously. Yes. If I was to think of love, if I really did think love existed, I would say it caring for somebody regardless of any, anything. Just like that care for somebody. Love is just unconditional caring. I wouldn't say unconditional love. Nobody's gonna love you unconditionally except Apart from yourself and your mother. If you can't love yourself... You how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Yeah, so that goes on to how to love somebody. Well, that's, oh, good point. I know what you're gonna say. Self-love. Okay. Yeah. exactly first of all what do you define love as and then that's how you can then love somebody else do you know what i mean and how do you love yourself self-love start with your loving yourself yeah and then love the other person you're never gonna give somebody love if you don't have it yourself and you know what that actually sounds scary like oh self-love self-love what does that mean it can be as simple as making your coffee every day for yourself that's self-love self-care going on a walk every day like talking to a friend that's self-love doing your own makeup to feel good about yourself that's yeah. self-love also when do i trust a guy trust in any relationship should not be when do i 
You should trust people from the get-go. From the get-go. Not blind. Don't be stupid. But you should give someone the benefit of the doubt and they should do the same. Whereas, you're gonna constantly be tiptoeing like, Oh, I don't trust you. I don't believe you. Oh my god. Like, it's time for you to pack. I leave. So when do you trust the guy? Actions. Actions. Time with the person. Time. Like it's, it depends on your personality. Like some people are more prone to when they meet a person. They're prone to tell them everything because they just. I will tell you my whole life story from the cover to the end of the book. In the first hour. Mm -hmm. The reason why I trust people quickly is because I expect the same from somebody in front of me. Yes. So if I trust you, I expect you to also trust me. Trust I me. can read people. I can actually tell someone's intention. I'm mm -hmm. not stupid, but I do give people the benefit of the doubt regardless. You need to see actions. You need to see effort. I feel like effort is a big thing for me. Time. Time and effort is when you can really think, okay, this guy has done this, this and that. Maybe I should start letting him in and trusting him a little bit more. That's that's when you can tell them more than just what your yeah. favorite color is don't like overthink it when you start overthinking and thinking how do i love and how you're gonna mess up for yourself you're gonna self-sabotage because trust me all these things come naturally when the person is right for you you don't even question okay when do i when should i trust and person? don't force relationships don't go out and put yourself out and try to just find any random just because food. it's a it's a guy or a girl don't think okay yeah. i've I got them to. i've got them now and that's it they're mine yeah <laughs> don't latch into every single mm. it world. and then don't spill like everything okay this is me this is my favorite color this is a da -da 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 -da. thing you should always leave something to talk about should stay always. mysterious always something I, I would say when you get into a relationship and you're talking to somebody take your time observing them mm. take your time looking listen listen listen, listen, listen to the sign listen <laughs> listening to them the way they talk the way they act the way they act around other people the way they act when you're in a restaurant the way they act around other people is very very important important very. the way they treat other people even around the, the way they, they, they treat, treat you, you in front of other people especially family this is the last question by the way guys so cancer man in and out of the relationship he told me he will never leave but he goes and comes back first of all we don't really know much about the whole like the horoscopes Starfine. yeah of like a man and if you're compatible with this like i don't really believe in much of that i mean i am a cancer myself but i don't really know about a cancer man yeah i'm a leo but i don't really care about that stuff mm. i think i am the way i am because of me not because of my star sign. Culture, but bringing, personality. So he's in and out of the relationship. I don't think he's fully invested. 100%. In and out there. doing what? In and out doing what? What, yeah, are, you what doing are you doing in that spare time? Are you talking to somebody else? Absolutely, he's not interested. And he told me he will never leave. Me. Yeah, but this is what guys do. They, they sweet talk you. Yeah, they shut you up. A little advice though. Like, <laughs> if a man is Arab, he will sweet talk the hell out of you. And you will believe it and eat it up and you will love it. Not just Egyptian, Arabs in general. Especially the guys from the Gulf. Because they actually are really Really good at poetry so they will poetry your ears out overall guys would keep telling you things like yeah i'm never gonna leave you i'm gonna marry you yeah i Fake love promises. you for a relationship to work there has to be a commitment so there's no relationship in the first place try not to invest your emotions into a relationship that doesn't exist mm. i feel like a lot of people men and women they invest their like breath into a relationship and it, to me it doesn't look like there's a relationship i like someone or want to go on a relationship i always think of the worst i don't make fantasies because if i leave that relationship i don't want to leave heartbroken because as normal humans we always make fantasies when it comes to a relationship of the good part i want to see if i was with this person this is a bad advice but once you give a hundred and you've given everything even it will also be expected that from you all the time though and as humans we can't always feed the energy we need also the energy back but if you go in somewhere thinking okay i can either go this way or that way i need to make sure that if it goes that way i can still stand on my two feet and not heartbroken for a week and my life stops i stop letting him in because mm. he knows he can come back to you and you're gonna let him in because you're not strong enough to say no if you really want him and back we don't recommend it but if you really think okay the man i want you need to finish. no no because imagine he's married what's he gonna do uh, marriage? did i finish i'm so sorry was i done i'm so sorry i was gonna say cut all ties off with him and see how he re responds to that good point i'm so sorry i interrupted her thinking don't uh, ever give her the breath i'm if, so sorry if was it finished silly <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the video and we hope that you found our answers helpful if it's any of the situations are relatable to you don't forget to follow our socials it will be around the screen and also don't forget like comment and subscribe show us love please leave us comments because we love reading comments and we're really interactive with them if you want a part two let us know on instagram and also in the comments Thanks, Thanks for so watching. See ya. <laughs> Bye.